More than two years after a deadly controversial shooting in Baker County, the man who fired the bullet has been sentenced in connection with the death of Dominic D.J. Brodus. Gardner Frazier will spend one year in jail and then four years on probation. Frazier, the son of a former Baker County Sheriff's deputy, claimed self-defense in Brodus's fatal shooting in 2018. He was only charged with tampering with evidence to which he pleaded no contest. As News 4 Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker shows us, today's court appearance was emotional. In tears, DJ Brodus's 13-year-old son, Caden, couldn't gather the words to read his statement via Zoom at the hearing Monday. Gardner Frazier wasn't charged for killing Brodus back in 2018, but will do one year in jail for tampering with evidence the state believes could have brought more clarity to what happened that day. Where the intent was to silence him, first physically, and then by any means necessary and destroying the evidence that would let the world know exactly what had transpired. Since then, the community has supported the family, standing up for what they believe is bias in Baker County. This, again, brought light on to what everyone already knows, the uh, prejudice that's here, the racism that's here, the favoritism that's here, and just this case alone, tampering with evidence when he was blatantly executed on their property. Back inside the courtroom, the defense objected to witness statements that don't apply to tampering with evidence charges. I'm 100% confident that I can uh, discern and separate what is appropriate and relevant for my consideration. Um, and so I will uh, allow them to be heard. The defense argues there was no relationship between Frazier and Brodus and that Frazier was acting in self-defense. There was a struggle and it appeared that there was a complete surprise that Mr. Brodus was there. Frazier offered his phone as evidence, which they feel the state could recover information without Brodus's phone. We're told there was communication between them back in July of 2017. The judge says all types of tampering should be treated the same in sentences, even when someone was killed in the case. To this day, only one person knows where DJ brought his phone is. That's our impression. Frazier's attorney says this has been traumatizing for Frazier. After his one year in jail, he has a four years supervised provision. The Brodus family filed a wrongful death lawsuit in excess of $30,000 from Frazier. You can review this information right now on newsforjax.com. In Baker County, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.